Uh, hello traders, uh, hello traders, uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, bonjour, bonsoir mes amis, uh, good morning, good tag, good nabend. Uh, for those of you who are new to us, uh, we are the TSTW24 uh, uh, Traders and our website is www.stokastic-magd.com. For all trade, we use the 5% uh, money management rules and apply stop loss in all trades. This video is for educational purposes only. It's neither a solicitation nor an offer to buy or sell any financial uh, instrument. It is primarily for the TSTW24, TSTWSYS08, and the TSTWSYS08 uh, traders. Uh, today is the 2nd of May 2012, and the time in London is 22.14. Uh, the, the, the title of this video is Forex 1414 and the markets. Okay, what is the Forex 1414? Okay, and what are the eight uh, stable data one must know to navigate through the forex uh, market? At the end of this video, we'll talk about the USD card, the Euro USD, the New Zealand dollar US dollar, and the Australian dollar US dollar. Okay, traders, uh, let's, let's get, get started. started. Okay, last okay. weekend uh, we were talking about uh, the RSI and the Elliott wave. Okay, so I hope uh, you have watched that video at www.youtube.com forward slash dot trio and uh, to understand uh, okay what is the RSI how one can combine the RSI and the uh, earlier wave uh, a theory I hope you have enjoyed that video okay that you have put it into use okay in order okay to cream the market uh, consistently okay ladies and gentlemen okay so we were telling you okay if you want to go quickly over what we have said last weekend okay that uh, we will see a false divergence in the first alien wave okay uh, bear with us the video is about uh, forex uh, 1414 but we will cover what we have said last weekend before we continue with the main topic uh, uh, today so bear with us okay so we have said that in the first alien wave we are likely to see we are likely to see okay a false divergence not always, but very often you are likely to see a false divergence in the first area wave, especially if the first area wave is extended. Also, okay, the best place to see okay valid divergence is in the fifth area wave. We are expecting to see a valid bearish okay divergence in the uptrend during the fifth area wave, and also a valid bullish divergence, okay in the fifth wave in the downtrend but sometimes we can see also false divergence okay in the fifth wave okay if the fifth wave is extended okay all right all right we know that also that most indicator will be overbought in the third in the wave but in all cases okay if we are trading the price itself which is the number one indicator we keep our eyes on the ball okay we will make a consistent accurate trade drawing our trend trend line the tool that we want to use is the channels okay and the trend line and the definition of the uptrend okay and the downtrend okay excellent question asked by uh, okay tstws a trader first i do not want to do the video but i finally do it Kuliesh, okay i hope you like it now in the future we will cover more okay okay most more issue regarding the area wave and the the indicator will cover the margin okay and the uh, and the and the area wave okay we also explain to you okay the extension what causes the extension okay okay so i hope you have enjoyed that video okay but today we have a different subject but before we continue with the main topic okay this is we have here the monthly chart of intel as you can see uh, drawing our lines, you can see I have uh, two lines here. There's one here. The price was oscillating between two levels here on this uh, monthly chart. But uh, okay, the price now above uh, this uh, consolidation session. But you can see that looking on our left hand side, as I said to traders, look on your left hand side. Okay, we see there are resistance here. Okay, there's one resistance here. Okay, there's another one here. Okay, and we know that the first area wave. Is the way that it will break okay resistance level looking on our left hand side so though the price above our uh, the trend the the, the 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 consolidation session that i have highlighted here 
why I choose this level? You can see that the price went up first. If you see on your chart, it went up like this, okay? And then there was a consolidation on this session here where my cursor is. And then it break above the consolidation zone right here. And then retest it here the, and then change the direction. This is a very important level. There was a move up and then a consolidation and then a breakout and a retest level. This is a very important level for Intel, the zone around 2500. That's why I prefer to put the top of my consolidation zone here instead of putting on top of this level because this level here is very important level. Okay? Some trade I may draw it here. So as the price breaking above my uh, okay chosen okay my chosen my prefer consolidation session, there are other resistance here that were not yet broken. This one is taken out, but if you look carefully, there's this one here, and then there's another one here. Very often, <laughs> the small man is so obsessed that the, the first area wave is uh, okay a bullish wave that will break all resistance level. This is why usually we create the extension. Okay, so for instance. Okay, if this resistance, if okay, if the price arrive at this level and find a resistance down, what will happen, ladies and gentlemen? The price will pull back. Okay, so we will see something like this. As, uh, here I'm explaining to you how sometimes we see okay extension of a wave. Okay, so the price may pull back if the price, for instance, this is the resistance, the price find a resistance, the price pull back a bit, and then the price will continue again. Okay, pull back because the bull are in the market. Then we pull it up, okay? So we reach the next level, which is this one here. Support this one. I'm saying support this resistance. As the prior arrive here, the final resistance, you will pull back. Because the bull are in the market, they push it up again. Now we arrive at the next resistance level. So the prior will be here, okay? So again, the prior will find again, okay? We pull back again because whenever the prior is pulling back, the prior is acknowledging, okay, in the uptrend, the prior is acknowledging a resistance level. So the prior will pull back again. So this one, we hit it, we pull back. So what the price doing? As soon as the price reaches a resistance level, the price will pull back to around the resistance level before breaking above it. You break above it, you retest it or move to the next level. So now we are here. The price pull back. The price will seek the next level again, ladies and gentlemen. And then, okay, again it will pull up again here. This is why sometimes we see extension of wave waves because of the resistance on the left hand side. The same thing happens when we are in a fifth area wave, when we see that sometimes we see the fifth wave that will be extended. Why am I saying this? Because of the ball, ladies and gentlemen, the price is the ball. Whether we are using the theory, the theory happens because of the price. What we have seen on the price is observation made by, okay, Mr. Elliot, okay, excellent observation. But you have to understand why sometimes we have extension because the price is acknowledging a resistance level. We have what we call a clustered key levels. We have many key levels in the same zone. So the price acknowledging it, okay, until it come out clean. That will create an extension. The same thing sometimes you see the price, especially those who are day trading, you can't, you reach your fifth wave, okay? So those who are, okay, using the area wave like a sign, they will just sell. But if they have excellent money management in place, that's not too bad. They will sell. But then the price will go up again, or sometimes will extend and extend because of the clustered, okay, key levels in that zone. Or the price looking for a better resistance level before pulling back. Why am I saying this? Because we are expecting this, uh, okay, Intel to give us a healthy pullback for some time. But Intel is going up. Why? Because of the resistance on the left hand side. We will see which resistance we allow this uh, okay Intel to pull back. It's bullish, but we want it to pull back first before we enter the trade. Okay, all right. Myself, I've missed this movement to the upside. For Microsoft, we were in the trade when it was going up. I took my profit. Okay, we expected that to pull back. But for Intel, I was not in this move. I want to join the move, but I want to pull back. I don't want to join them like this. I can day trade like this, but I don't want to join it like this. I want to pull back. But you can see on our left hand side there are okay resistance here and there is a high chance that our first area wave may end up being an extended first area wave because of the resistance on the left hand side. Just to explain to you how the extension takes place. Alright. So Kuliesh, you have asked this question. I will keep posting more video and I will explain to you because I know you are very excited about this subject. 
and it's excellent question another question asked there by another trader okay bear with me we will continue our subject about the forex 1414 but this is very important for our traders the trader asked me today is it possible okay to detect okay divergence using the price alone okay now i've said to him that indicators give warnings okay so the indicators give warning and we know also that divergence is a warning so indicator will do excellent job to detect okay the divergence okay but i also explained to this trader that it is possible to use the price alone to detect okay divergence because we know that divergence the valid divergence usually take place in the fifth in a wave but there is also okay false divergence okay but in the, in the future we will post a video where we will show you clearly how one can use the price alone to detect a divergence okay i will not talk about it in this video sometimes trader may ask a question i will say yes i will post a video about it trader may think that i forget but i do not forget there is another question asked by trader when i told him that uh, okay sometimes trader will post some will put a lot of indicator on their chart and the chart will be clustered okay so they can't see the real picture suppose you're looking at something like this okay you, you can't see much okay but i will show you something now the same chart look at it carefully ladies and gentlemen i have here the indicator of the volume here which i, I squeeze a bit i'll make it big this is the volume session here because i squeeze it to to see the chart better i can do the same thing to my rsi to squeeze it down so that i can see the chart to give more rooms to the chart okay because the image this is what you are looking at you're going to make a decision so you want to see okay the the, the real picture not okay a distorted picture okay so you want to give room that's why i say to trader remove have a chart where you remove all the indicator you can post your indicator but if your software allow you to have a clean cut chart remove our indicator to see okay the chart i will remove okay all my indicator now because uh, we are not going to talk about it today this is about the forest 1414 you can see that now i have okay my clean chart here beautiful gorgeous okay now i'm making it i'm making i'm zooming into the chart you see it become better now okay here this is what I, but if you look at it like this this is what i try to explain to a trader last time if you look at it, it's squeezed you see it's so squeezed and you're going to interpret it in a different way but try to zoom into the chart okay and remove all indicator so you don't see something else okay that will fool you or make you make a wrong decision okay if you make it big like i did now which i always do you can see on this chart that we have on this monthly chart a b c d chart pattern okay being formed in this session okay for this uh if you want to know more about uh, the a b c d chart pattern you need to go to www.stochastic-magic.com and click on the a b c d pattern this is the a session here this is the b session here this is the c session here we are still uh, going to the d uh, session as i explained to you we have resistance on the left hand side the market is pushing it up to achieve their ABCD, we have not yet reached the D session. Hopefully, they will give us our pullback. That's what we are waiting for. Okay, very soon, so that we can also participate in this uh, bullish session. Okay, so you see, this is what I'm talking about. You want to see the chart, remove everything. Okay, if you have an in indicator on your chart, remove them. Look at the next chart, as I like to put it to you. The bigger picture, clean and neat, so you may not. You can see everything neatly. Okay, zoom into it okay but if you have it like this you see you will you will know that there is a a b c d here okay and change also your time frame okay now what is the forex uh, one four one four okay ladies and gentlemen let's get started thank you for bearing us with us if you are new to us okay the forex one four one four this is about essential essential knowledge one must gain okay to trade currency this is about the forest 1414 knowledge that you must gain knowledge that you must have things that you must understand in the market okay this is about the forest 1414 crucial things that you must know you must understand to have an edge in order okay to make excellent investment decision excellent uh, trading decision so i invite you to be very patient and to pay attention to what i'm about to reveal here it may look like a theory but this is a practical knowledge 
that I'm going to expose in this video, okay? Alright, so Forex 1414 is about essential knowledge, one must gain to trade, okay, a currency. And we will also talk about the eight uh, stable data, okay, one must know uh, to navigate through the forest market. When we are talking about the stable data, we are talking about a truth, things that remain intact in this market, okay. One can distort, okay, uh, economy data, for instance, one can di distort uh, the inflation data, one can distort the GDP data, one can distort, mistake can be made, okay, that's why sometimes they review the data, one can, re uh, can, can distort uh, the, the unemployment data, one can distort the, the, the non pam payroll data, but there are things that remain intact in the market, and I will talk about eight uh, stable data in this uh, uh, market, okay? Ladies and gentlemen, let's uh, get uh, started about this. Uh, I invite you to follow me into, okay, the second part of the video when we will talk about the eight, uh, okay, uh, stable data that uh, govern, okay, uh, the forex market and the market in general, okay? So, the forex 1414 is uh, essential knowledge. One must know, okay, to trade currency. Remember, this knowledge are crucial and important to all uh, okay the market uh, uh, participants uh, i invite you uh, the video we will continue the with the subject of, of uh, stable data in this part of the video we'll talk about the uh, four uh, stable data okay and the first uh, stable data if uh, one want to master okay the forest market if one wants to make an uh, excellent uh, trading decision or excellent investment decision okay the first stable data that one must know essential knowledge is the market is global okay all markets are interdependent the market is global and all markets are interdependent okay so here i draw okay something here for you you can see that uh, okay the bigger cycle that's the market and within it we have a uh, different markets okay all interdependent okay all markets are correlated there is always a relationship between each market. If you are trading forex or any other financial instrument, okay, you must understand that the market is global, okay. We noticed see recently that uh, Caterpillar was uh, was talking that uh, their performance were very poor because of uh, the economic condition in China, okay. Though Caterpillar is a company, an American company, okay, they are talking about uh, China because of their investment in China, okay. Any transaction, okay, will involve at least two parties, okay. We know that country like the uh, United States will export to Europe, will export to Asia. Country like uh, China also will export to Europe and also will export uh, to United States. Any activity that is uh, happening in United States will affect China. Any activity that is happening in Europe, okay, will affect uh, China. As we have seen recently, all the, 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 the banking uh, uh, crisis in Europe is affecting, okay, the economy in China, okay. So all uh, markets are correlated and interdependent. If you are making any investment decision, you must remember that the market, okay, is a global market, okay. The mistake that a lot of traders have made recently, when they see that there was there was some problem in the United States, okay, a lot of traders, a lot of investors moved their money to euro, okay. So people were selling the dollar, okay, and were buying the euro, okay, because they believe that the euro zone, okay, is a better place to invest in. However, many investors, okay, have forgotten that the market, okay, is global, okay. So, in fact, instead of running from one place, okay, to another, okay, it's better to invest in a, a better a financial asset, okay. The market was in a downtrend, which means the stock, okay, were performing poorly at that time, okay. The market was going down, okay. Money was coming out of the stock market into commodity instead of moving from one okay place to another place one must okay move okay uh, uh, the investment from one asset to another asset so the best strategy during a downtrend a lot of uh, very smart investors were putting their invest were putting their money in gold okay in commodity which was the best thing they were not buying stock those who were buying stock 
during that time uh, we, we lose okay we're losing money okay but those were okay invested in goals okay they make a lot of profit but as i explained to you now the market is global if you are trading forex or you are trading currency or you are trading uh, uh, stocks you are trading commodity you must always remember that the market is global this is what's happening and uh, that's what creates also volatility in the market and a lot of uh, okay investors will make a lot of wrong decisions because they fail to understand that the market okay is global market okay very very important whether you are you are in uh, asia okay or you are united states okay all the markets are interdependent okay the financial transactions are not uh, static they are dynamic okay they are not uh, okay related to one uh, uh, country or one continent they they are they are interdependent okay and uh, connected okay this is why you have to understand when you are trading any financial instrument you must always know that the market okay is uh, a global market all right very important you have seen that there was a recession okay in japan and i was uh, telling trader that now that we have a recession in uh, okay united states a recession in the united kingdom during that time people were saying that oh there will there won't be any recession in europe i told traders that okay there will be a recession okay in europe and the recession in europe will be mild and we expect you know a recession in china right now a lot of people are a lot of uh, analysts are saying that uh, china is bullish blah 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 but the market is global because of the recession in japan the recession okay in 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 that state recession in in, in uh, europe happening now there will be a recession okay in china it will be completely wrong and stupid okay to think that okay there won't be any recession okay in china because why because we are using a stable data that state that the market is global recession did happen in japan it happens in uh, in united states it happens it's happening now in europe now they realize the mistake that mr cliche has made when okay uh, the, the american politician okay were okay uh, putting their house in order mr trichet was putting okay uh, the interest rate up thinking that there was no okay uh, real estate problem in europe so uh, they didn't make any decision now suddenly they see that the repetition of what has happened in the, in the united kingdom united states is affecting the eurozone and uh, in in spain we have a uh, higher unemployment recently in uh, uh, germany uh, the, the the unemployment went up okay for the first time and we can see that it's affecting everybody everywhere whether I, I, the problem okay is happening in your territory it does not matter if it's happening in one part of the world they have some repercussion that will affect okay your economy so people are saying you will not come to germany germany is clean but i tell you now what is happening because of the higher unemployment in spain people will move to germany to look for job by doing so they will take the job of the german which will create higher unemployment the same thing we see in london we see we see you have unemployment in a country around you people will move to the country where there is a bit of prosperity by doing so you will see that unemployment will start going up in that country also because of the flow of people coming to different places that's what's happening okay this is what's happening okay so we see now for the first time the unemployment in, in germany is going up why because in italy the, the unemployment is going up in spain is going up okay so you in in uh, france the unemployment is now 10 percent in uh, in spain is nearly 25 uh, percent so right now all these people what do they what will they do they will move to another country they will travel looking for better opportunity in another country by doing so going to germany going to other country where they have a better job prospect okay they will okay uh, influence okay the job creation the which mean they will take the job of the people of that country and uh, you will see slowly but gradually unemployment also will be coming into that area okay so the market is global the same thing happened for money as you can see when there was a problem in the united states as i explained to traders there were a lot of uh, outflow of, of uh, uh, money into canada into uh, australia into new zealand into china now we see that condition are starting improving okay in united states there will be inflow of uh, okay 
uh, finance into the United States. That's why recently we see in Canada, for the first time, the GDP okay, has contracted. And you have contracted as we see more investment returning back okay, to the United States. The market is global and no one can escape it. It's one of one market, okay, one global market. If you are trading any financial instrument, whether you are trading the euro USD, you are trading crude oil, you are trading gold, you are trading uh, any uh, financial instrument somewhere else, remember that the market is global. The tsunami in Japan has affected the exports in the United States. Okay? They can't send the goods into a country where there is no facility like ports where the, 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 the ship can, can go to. There is a devastation in Japan. It has affected the United States because of uh, the, the manufacturing sector has been affected by the tsunami in Japan. But the tsunami did not happen okay, in the United States. It did happen in Japan, but it has affected the economy okay, in the United States. There is a, a slowdown. Remember that the market is global. This is the first uh, stable data. If you are trading, if you are investing, if you fail to understand that the market is global, you will miss the, this very important common sense and knowledge. The second stable data is that no market is isolated, no market is separated, no market is independent. Okay, you see here, there's no market isolated somewhere, okay, in one island somewhere, untouchable, secure, and protected. Nothing like that. Human beings communicate, financial transactions happen between parties. Is that part of the country, that part of the world, trading with another country? So, if you have a business partner and you are affected, suppose you sell, uh, okay, uh, iPhone cover, if uh, iPhone is having problem, your business also will suffer because you sell, you sell the, 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 the okay, accessory for iPhone. So, the same thing, every country, okay, is doing a business with another country. That is the problem. So, when your partners are affected, it will affect you one way or another. It's come down to the market, the first table data that stated that the market is global. The second is that no market is isolated, no market is separated, no market is independent, separated somewhere. This is the biggest mistake happening now. A lot of people think that, okay, China, everything is fine, everything is perfect. Europe, they have no much uh, sovereign debt like United States, or everything should be perfect in Europe. But what is happening in United States will definitely affect, okay, uh, Europe will affect uh, China, okay, uh, any part of the world. No market is isolated. It's the second uh, stable data. One must understand talking about the forest 1414 and the markets. The third stable data is that in the center of the market is, okay, the market participant, you. Okay? Very often when traders are trading, they forget that, okay, what is happening in fact in the market does not happen, okay, in a void, okay? Somebody is creating it. We are creating it. The politicians are creating it. The people are creating it. Talking about the job creation, people have jobs, they have excellent income, they will invest, okay? They will spend it, okay? They spend it, okay? Business make profits. Business are making profit, they will recruit more people, okay? People don't have enough money to spend, they are not spending, business are not making money, they can't purchase gold, they can't purchase a new car, they can't buy new houses. And uh, they don't have a job, the business tactics, okay? So, he, at the center of all business activity, or all economic, okay, outcome, we have, okay, the mind can, you, the individual, the center of the market is the market participant. Whether they are useless market participants, or crazy politicians, or smart traders, or ordinary traders, or individual person on the streets, okay, they are the center of the market, okay? I was telling traders recently to pay attention carefully to Germany, the social moods in Germany, as the unemployment start increasing in Germany, if the people in Germany start complaining about the Eurozone, you will see how that will affect, okay, uh, <laughs> the Eurozone, okay? This is about the center of the market. So remember that the third stable data, the center of the market, okay, is the mankind, the individual, the market participant, this is what is moving everything. Very often when traders are trading, they don't do this, they don't forget completely that the center of the market is a human being. So you are trading for, let's say, Intel. You want to know who are the people trading Intel. There are people involved. There are long-term shareholders that buy the share, okay, 
for to collect their dividend each year. This is for income purposes. These people are market participants. Okay. Now there are speculators also trading this intels. Okay. And intels is also managed by human beings. The management. The manage. If you have a useless management, okay, the business will not go anywhere. A, a wrong a strategy, business strategy will affect, okay, uh, the revenue, okay, of course. So, at the center of everything that is happening, that we are doing, whether you see any chart pattern, whether you, are, you see any way, whether you see double top, think of human beings. What other traders are thinking? What other investors are doing? Okay, right now we know that because we know that, uh, okay, the United States is recovering. What is happening, human beings, they know, they know that the recession that has affected in uh, Japan, affected, okay, the, the, the United States, now it's happening in Europe, they know, they start thinking that it will happen in Japan. So these markets, they start moving their money out of uh, China, out of the area that they call safe heaven, returning back to the area that the problem has already happened. These are the security. You need to move your money where the problem has already happened and finish the worst, where the worst is already accomplished. Okay? So remember, the center of the market is, okay, the market a participant. The fourth a stable data is that the market moves in cycle. There are three cycles. The short-term cycle, the medium cycle, and the long-term cycle. But, ladies and gentlemen, I will not go deeply into cycle. The most important cycle is the medium cycle as i said to you i will not explain to you what that means so you have talked about four stable data the first one is that the market is global okay the second one is that no market is isolated or self-sufficient or independent the third the stable data that the center of the market okay is the market a participant the fourth a stable data is that the market moving cycle and we have a, a free cycle the short term cycle the medium cycle and the long term cycle but the most important cycle is the medium cycle why ladies and gentlemen just to put it very simple to you because this is a, how we build all our trading system and <laughs> things that we know you see here i draw here a cycle here in the center here i consider the small cycle here where my cursor is uh, the short term cycle so when a cycle has begun Okay? No one knows whether the cycle will go, the cycle will go and mature. The cycle must start first and then mature. Like we go up, we are born, and then we go up, we mature, and we get old. Okay? The same thing for the cycle. The short term, if a cycle is about to begin, it will start with uh, a short term cycle. But when we see a short term cycle, we don't know whether it's going to mature or not. Or reach maturity or grow old. Okay? So now we see the cycle. As the small cycle is expanding, it becomes red, which is the medium cycle. It starts in expanding, okay? Expanding. So we see that, oh, it's maturing. This is when you want to enter the cycle, when the cycle has matured. And the maturity of the cycle is during the medium cycle, okay? So cycle will mature and then become a big. So from the short-term cycle or the small cycle, it becomes a medium cycle, okay? Uh, on a big mature cycle, okay, or we can say it's cooked, mildly cooked, so to speak. Uh, I hope you understand it, okay? So we have a medium cycle, and that medium cycle will grow again and become a bigger cycle. The inverse will take place again when a cycle becomes fully, fully mature, okay? And when we when we talk about overbought or oversold and maturity of the market, the market again will go through from the bigger cycle, we go through the medium cycle again before going to a small cycle. Always, when a new cycle is about to begin, the cycle will begin with a small cycle. So, always there is a transition from a, a, a previous cycle to a new cycle. And how this happens, you go the other way from the bigger cycle to the medium cycle to the small cycle. So, we are, for instance, in the uptrend, we reach the top of the uptrend. This is what we see. What we usually see, the, the, when we see, when we're talking about a cycle, we're talking also about alien wave. We see that the price during the five way usually will remain above uh, the, the simple moving average 20 or the exponential moving average 20. During the whole cycle, one, two, three, four, five, very often you will see the price will remain above the exponential moving average 20 or the simple moving average 20. Sometimes it may just remain above uh, the either the, the exponential moving average 20 
or the exponential move that will be 30. But we'll say 20. That's the, the short term cycle. But when we finish the, the, the fifth cycle, we have ABC corrective mode according to area wave. A, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, ABC. The A corrective move will bring the price to the exponential moving average 50. So during the, the short term cycle, okay, which is maturing, so we know it now, but though the price is above 20, it's maturing, it's becoming a bigger cycle. That's what we're talking about. You see, it's small, it's becoming bigger. Though the price is still above the, 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 the exponential moving average 20, okay, 20, okay. It's maturing, so we have we see the we see the first in your wave, second in your wave, third in your wave, fourth in your wave, fifth in your wave. But the small cycle is growing, it's maturing, you see, and becoming a bigger cycle, and then reach the maturity. At the end of the maturity, the prime will return to its fair value, which is against the medium zone. So it's contracting again to the medium zone. That's the A corrective move that will bring the price to the exponential move in every fifty, or simple move in fifty. All right, and then we will have the B corrective move, which will allow the price to retest. Okay, the previous okay resistance level. Okay, price will go up again, pretending to go up. That's the B corrective move. But the C corrective move will bring the price down to the exponential moving 200 or the simple moving average 200, 20, 50, 200. All right. So the whole five wave is above the 20 very often. Okay. And then when we have the five where the price will give the A corrective move, bringing it down to the uh, simple movement 50 or exponential movement 50. Then we have the B corrective move to retest, and then the C corrective move, bringing it down completely, okay, to the exponential movement 200 or the simple movement 200. The third, okay, stable data is that the market moving cycle, the small cycle or the short term cycle will grow and become a medium cycle. The, the, the medium cycle will go and become a bigger cycle. When we reach a full maturity, which means the cycle is now completed, we will move again to the medium cycle, okay? Medium cycle, exponential movement 50, simple movement 50, we move again to the medium cycle, and then from the medium cycle, we go back again and start a new cycle for a new, okay? Okay? Uh, well, how should I put it to you? A new bullish cycle or a new okay bearish cycle okay this is what's happening in the market all the time these are a stable data if you are able to make excellent investment decision you must base your decision on the stable data okay that are governing the market these are the truths the thing that you need to work with okay to make excellent decision day in day out whether you are using a wheel or any chart pattern you must use them together with the market stable data i invite you to follow me into the second part of this video when we talk about the rest of the stable data, the stable data number 5, number All 6, right, number ladies, 7, so and number with the subject of so Forex 1414 and the market. You may be wondering uh, why we use uh, 1414. The number 14 is a very popular number in trading, in investment, because uh, we trade uh, uh, 5 days uh, in a week. Uh, 20 days in a month, okay, talking about uh, the core value or essential knowledge, e essential, okay, a part of an object, we are talking about a core value, okay, the core value is represented by 70%, uh, talking about, uh, okay, a normal distribution, we are talking about 70%, okay, so uh, we see very often they're using the 14, uh, RSI 14, CCI 14, okay, stochastic 14, uh, exponential movement 14, uh, uh, simple movement average 14, uh, uh, CCI 14, okay, Arun 14. Uh, most of the indicators, even some of the software, are preset, uh, uh, the, the, the default setting for many indicators are set to uh, 14 because uh, of 20 days trading uh, days in the month uh, 5 times 4 5 days per week times 4 that's uh, 20 days uh, talking about uh, uh, the core trading activity time that's uh, uh, 14 days 70 percent of that uh, 20 days brings us to uh, 14 days and also traders when the price going up for 14 going up continuously for 14 days uh, around the 14 days, the bear will come in and challenge the bulls. On the other hand, if the price going down continuously for 14 days, okay, 
around the 14th day uh, the bull will challenge the bear 14 is a very important number so talking about forex 14 14 we are talking about the core forex investment the core forex uh, okay knowledge the core forex trading okay the essential the essential things that we need to know okay uh, to trade or navigate through this uh, forex uh, market okay let's move on ladies and gentlemen the stable data number five, okay. The stable data number five, talking about stable data, we are talking about proof something that remains intact in the market. The stable data number five stated, stated that uh, fundamental peak at the start of a downtrend, okay, and uh, also reach, okay, uh, the worst level at the start of uh, a bullish cycle. Okay, what do I mean? Maybe you don't understand what I've said now. Uh, the fundamental will peak okay at the start of a down cycle and they will bottom so to speak at the start okay of uh, a bullish cycle so we see now uh, suppose that we are in a bullish cycle okay the fundamental are strong very strong everybody know that okay this company is making money is uh, creating excellent product they are innovating uh, the global economy is solid the fundamental are solid at the beginning of the downtrend, okay, the fundamental, okay, the bullish fundamental will reach the peak moment. Now, this is something that is creating too much problem in the market. It looks to me that some analysts, they do not understand or they don't learn from the past, okay. So, the fundamental will reach the peak, the summit, okay, when the downtrend is about to begin. This does not look bad at the beginning of a downtrend. Remember that. Okay? This does not look bad at the beginning of a downtrend. They look beautiful. They look gorgeous. And everybody wants to buy. That's when the downtrend will begin. On the other hand, when things are very, very, okay, rotten, so to speak, things are are very very bad okay we see the world so far that's when a bullish a cycle will begin okay so the fundamental are very very weak they will bottom they reach okay the weakest points okay the zero points okay this they can go further down okay that's when the bullish okay cycle will begin so remember when a bullish cycle is about to begin okay at that point in time it's not visible, okay, it's not, it's not, uh, uh, okay, obvious to everybody that the bullish cycle is about to begin. It's usually what we call the latent, the hidden, okay, fundamental, that uh, smart trader will detect that a bullish cycle, okay, is about to begin, and they will understand that, okay, this downtrend is now kaput, it's finished, it has reached the bottom pit. But the most important to remember is that the fundamental will be very, very bullish. We reach the highest point of the bullish cycle before a downtrend will begin. So when a downtrend is about to begin, it will begin when the fundamentals reach the peak. Amazing. But this is what we see. People will say, yes, look at Canada. Okay. The economy is very strong. Okay. The, the, the unemployment is excellent. They have no real estate problem. But recently we see that, okay, the GDP has contracted in Canada. Why? Because everything was bullish for Canada. Everything was perfect. They did not experience the recession. Everything was gorgeous. Suddenly, a, 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 a mild recession will take place in Canada. You see, this what happened. Everything will look perfectly bullish. All the data, the analysts will say, no, it can't be uh, the beginning of it. No, everybody will deny it. But this is when, okay, the down cycle will begin. On the other hand, we'll see when the conditions are so bad, like in United States, people say that, oh, the unemployment was very good for a recent month, now it's going down. We told you that now the downtrend is still here, it's not finished yet. And now see that suddenly, we see another better data, okay, uh, recently, okay? Because when the things reach the bottom of the pit, okay, it looks bad, and no one wants to touch it, okay? But you have to understand how the cycle functions. It's a global economy. It's moving from one area to another area. So why you have to understand the fundamental we peak, okay, <laughs> at the beginning of a downtrend. And it will bottom at the beginning of a bullish cycle. 
you will never see at the beginning of a bullish cycle fundamentals that are perfectly, beautifully, gorgeously solid. By the time it matures, talking about the cycle again, small cycle matures to become medium cycle and a bigger cycle. But when a small cycle, tiny small cycle has begun, only smart traders, only those who understand how the market functions will know that a new cycle will be has begun. But few will still think, that's why you see sometimes, the market, you see sometimes, I will show you in the, in the, 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 the next part of this video, some of the financial industry, when you look at it, you will see the market is oversold, some traders are still selling, they are selling, they are selling, they are selling, and suddenly uh, the first area will, will kick them out, and the second area will, which are called the friendliest uh, way will give them another chance to come out because the first area will challenge them they say no it's still bearish so the second way is giving them a chance to come out they all choose to come out and then the third area will just will blow their account completely away that's what happened the second way is the friendliest okay the the the, the friendliest okay a, a, a way okay will give you a chance to come off before it's too late but as i explained to you at the peak of the bullish, uh, okay, fundamental, that's when, okay, the bearish cycle will begin, okay? At the bottom of the bearish cycle, when everything looks very, very bearish, and no one wants to touch it, everybody wants to sell the dollar, everybody wants to sell the dollar to zero, that's when a new cycle will begin. This is the fifth uh, fundamental. Moving on very fast, ladies and gentlemen, the fundamental, uh, talking about the stable data number six, Okay, the market will always rectify itself. That's gorgeous. If the market support, the market cannot rectify itself, ladies and gentlemen, we will see too much distortion, too much aberration, so to speak, in this market, too much confusion, and no one can make money. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, it thanks God that the market can rectify itself. Any distortion in the market, either created by the politicians or wrong politics, or wrong economic decision or any distortion in any form whether by a market participant or individual somebody somewhere else it will be rectified by the market you can see a distortion taking place or exaggeration taking place in the market for a long period of time sometimes it's very visible when we see a tall vertical move we know that this is a distortion sometimes it's hidden when the market will pretend to go diagonal but it's uh, what we call, okay, exaggeration. The market is overboard, supposed to go down, but people will refuse to sell. And the market will continue to go up, 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 up for a, a, a very long period of time. This is talking about the area where, the, uh, 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 in relation to the time, there's a time to sell. When people refuse to sell at that point in time, it's also a distortion. And it will prolong the cycle unnecessarily. And at another point, at one point, the market will rectify everything. The most dangerous distortion is the time distortion. When a market is due to come down and people pushes, push the price okay, to a different level, and they create okay, a distortion. As you can see, when we see a market go vertical, it's a distortion. The market slowly but gradually, it sometimes it may take time. Now, you will see, sometimes you go round and round, even see sometimes consolidation, but if there was a distortion, the market will always rectify itself. It's a powerful stuff, okay? This is, okay, the, 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 the stable data, number six, all distortions are rectified. Stable data number seven, all currency pairs are correlated. Every currency pair is correlated. Either they are negatively correlated, or they are positively correlated. We know that the Euro USD, the Australian dollar yen, uh, the Swiss franc yen, uh, the Australian dollar US dollar currency pair, these currency pair are positively correlated. Okay? Most currency pair are correlated. Either they are negatively correlated, like the Euro USD and the USD CHF, or the, U, the dollar Swiss franc currency pair are negatively correlated. Okay? The dollar Swiss franc and the euro USD are negatively correlated. 
most currency pairs are correlated. All currency pairs are correlated. Either they are positively correlated or negatively correlated. If they are positively correlated, they will move in the same direction. If they are negatively correlated, they will move in the opposite direction. So the euro USD very often when it's going up, the dollar Swiss franc currency pair will be going down. But this is what is destroying the forex market. Because traders are using the correlation as a science. So they buy this, they buy that, they buy this, they buy this, they say it's a basket, they will go up together. And they don't go up together. We know that for sure. Why? Because of the hedging activity in the market. Very often we see that the dollar yen will be going up and people will be selling the USD card. That's what we see very often. Both currency pair are, are, are bullish right now. The dollar yen and the dollar Canadian are bullish. But what is happening? When traders are buying the dollar yen, they are selling the dollar Canadian. When they are buying the dollar Canadian, they are selling the, the dollar yen. This was happened. This is a hedging activity by the, the, the bigger players in the market. So, though all currencies are correlated, due to hedging activity, currency pairs that are perfectly bullish, traders can sell it, okay, for hedging activity. So, you'll be wondering why this is not going up because of the hedging activity. So, the stable data number seven, all currency pairs are correlated, either positively or negatively. The stable data number eight, which is the last stable data that I want to reveal to trader, there are other okay stable data, but we are talking about eight stable data, talking about the forest one four one four and the market. We decided to reveal to trader the eight stable data that one must know if one wants to make excellent decision in the forest market or trading any other okay financial instrument. The last the, the stable data number eight is that th there is nothing new in the market, ladies and gentlemen. There is nothing new in the market. What has happened before is the same thing happening in the market. You see? Happening here, happening here, the same thing is happening all the time in the market. What has happened before is happening again in the market. Remember that. When you are looking at a chart, you are looking at financial instrument, whatever is happening in the market today, you see, a bullish cycle has begun, people are very bullish, end of the bullish cycle, people are still bullish, when the downtrend is about to begin, everybody thinks that, okay, it will never happen, and the downtrend will begin, okay, five wave, ABC correctly move, the same thing that has happened before, it will happen again. Some financial instrument, if you look at them pattern, their pattern in the past, is exactly the same pattern, year by year, they are repeating the same pattern. Those who are trading commodity, you can perfectly analyze what silver has done over the year, and you will be shocked to see some pattern repeating itself over and over at a certain stage in the market. Some month, you may see the price will move exactly the same way it did last year, the same time, the same place, the behavior is almost the same. Because we are talking about the center of the market is a human being, they do not forget. They do not forget. These are not something happening. It's created by human being. There is nothing new in the market. This is the stable data number eight. Ladies and gentlemen, we are looking at the MGM chart on the quarterly chart. As I speak to you, the market will always rectify itself. This movement to the downside, this is a, a correction. You can see clearly, if you look carefully on this chart, that the price was going up nicely, okay? Everything was perfectly normal, okay? The price was going up up to this level. At this stage, this is what we are talking about, the distortion in relation to the time. At this stage, okay, the price should come down. The price should give a pullback here, a normal healthy pullback. This is normal. The market at this point in time refuses, okay, refuses to, to bring the price down. This is a distortion. This is the most dangerous distortion when uh, the time distortion a market that's supposed to go down at one particular time was pushed to a different place, extending the time, distorting the time, is the most uh, dangerous uh, distortion. The market will take 100% back. That's what we have noticed. Here, the price should give a healthy pullback. It's normal, but was re rejected, okay? Should pull back nicely, a proper pullback. If it did pull back, ladies and gentlemen, which means you will see that this stock will do something like this. So all this movement here will not happen. And by the time that the downtrend will begin, 
it will be somewhere here not up here so the correction won't be sharp down to this level it will be something down to this level like this and now we will be consolidating here but there was a time distortion here in fact as you can see on this chart there was a distortion we have a vertical move which is also here looking at the time there was a time distortion the the time distortion which is the most dangerous distortion we see a total uh, the, uh, retracement to a downside, a total capitulation. Ladies and gentlemen, these are powerful tools talking about the market stable data. In this video, we have covered the subject of Forex 1414 and the market. Essential knowledge, important thing uh, traders and investors must know if one wants to trade currency or the Forex market or any other financial instrument. The first stable data, the market is global all markets are interdependent. The second stable data, no market is as isolated or self-sufficient. The third stable data, the center of the market is the market participant. There are the fourth stable data, there are three cycles, the short-term cycle, the medium cycle, and the, 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 the long-term cycle. The medium cycle is the most important uh, cycle. The fifth stable data, the fundamental will peak at the start of the downtrend and will bottom at the start of uh, the bullish cycle. Stable data number six, all distortion will be rectified. Stable data number seven, all currency are correlated. Stable data number eight, there is nothing new in the market. Ladies and gentlemen, I invite you to the next part of this video where we will talk about the USD card, the Euro USD, the New Zealand dollar, US dollar and the Australian dollar in the uh, US dollar. Video, we will talk about the, uh, the USD video. card, the Euro USD, and the New Zealand dollar, and the, U the New Zealand dollar US dollar, and the Australian dollar uh, US dollar currency pair. Okay. Uh, this part of this uh, video, we are recording it uh, on the 4th of May uh, 2012. Uh, the time in London is uh, uh, 14 uh, 25 after okay, the no farm uh, payroll uh, data. Okay has not been very good, okay, because um, it was uh, below, okay, the analyst uh, uh, forecast, but uh, the unemployment is going down in the United States, okay, so we decided to, to, to record this video after the no farm payroll, okay. The first candidate is the Australian dollar, US dollar currency pair, we on the yearly chart, you can see that the price was going up, you see bullish candle, bullish candle for two years, indecision, okay, candle here in 2011. And this is the candle for 2000, okay, and 12, okay. Now, because we know that, uh, okay, when Chinese economy was, uh, okay, a booming, so to speak, okay, there were a lot of uh, business for uh, the Australian economy, okay. The Australian economy was uh, 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 growing uh, because of uh, the Chinese economy, all right. So they were benefiting for the prosperity that was taking place in China, okay. So due to... Uh, uh, the commodity price going up, okay, the, the, the GDP in Australia was uh, going up, okay. Now we know that uh, the economy in China is slowing down, uh, we are expecting, okay, uh, the, 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 the Australian dollar, okay, to start to going down. The Australian dollar, we expect it to be a weakening, but not in relation to all currencies, so don't get involved into that, okay. So, the first candidate is the Australian dollar, US dollar currency pair, we are expecting this currency pair to be bearish, it does not mean that you go and sell anyhow, where well, we will give priority to sell signal, okay? Talking about the fundamental, comparing the what is happening in China to uh, the, the effect in, uh, okay, Australia, okay? Going, this, we go now to the monthly chart very fast, okay? On the monthly chart, this is what we see. Uh, we can see that, uh, okay, the bullish uh, channel, okay, there is a channel here has been uh, violated. Okay, we are now out of the bullish uh, uh, channel, okay? All right, so priority to sell signal as far we remain, okay? Uh, below this uh, bearish, uh, or below this uh, bullish uh, uh, channel, okay? We will pay attention to all the support level on the higher time frame before switching to the lower time frame using our training tool, the TSCW24, the TSCW08 and 008 uh, training system, okay? So this is about the Australian dollar, okay? We are expecting, okay, a contraction in, uh, Australia and therefore uh, this currency pair, the Australian dollar US dollar currency pair, we expect it okay to, to be under a bearish uh, pressure. Okay. 
but we do not assume anything we'll keep our eyes on the prime making excellent decision okay trading on the edge the next candidate is the usd card okay the dollar canadian dollar currency pair our view is uh, bullish okay why because um, the, 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 the Canada economy was uh, okay prospering or was booming okay was expanding all right but I believe we have reached the top of uh, okay uh, the bullish cycle for Canada okay but it's going to be very tricky one because as the economy in the United States is uh, recovering it will also have uh, a positive effect in Canada also but there will be before that a kind of contraction that will take place in Canada as we have seen recently there was a contraction on the GDP in Canada all right okay so you see now all right so we will give priority okay so we expected the Canadian dollar to be weak in relation to the US dollar so we will give priority to bullish signal above the psychological price level 9929 okay there were a lot of blah 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 you can see that there is a lot of hedging activity as traders are buying the USD yen okay they will be selling the USD car as a hedging activity and when they are buying the USD card, they will be selling the USD yen for hedging activity. That's what is happening right now. So don't be surprised when you see sometimes they're selling the big time to the downside. A lot of hedging activity taking place. You can refer to the previous video to know exactly what we are talking about. So talking about the fundamental, okay, uh, the, the Canada economy has reached the peak. Everything looks bullish at the start of uh, a contraction. Okay, everything will look perfectly bullish at the start of a contraction. A lot of analysts will still be talking about okay expansion expansion and then suddenly the figures that will come out talking about unemployment talking about uh, gdp the figures that we see that they you start revealing the contraction that is taking place as the the, the the money flow is returning back to the united states is all connected to money flow where there is uh, a best value there are more value now in the united states and investor will be pulling the money from country like Canada, Australia, and New Zealand, okay, even China, okay. Right now, this was happening. So we are bullish, okay, in relation to the USD card, okay. The USD card, we are very bullish, but we want to be very careful trading on the edge, okay. And the psychological price level is 9929. You can see, sometimes if I will dip below the psychological price level and then return back above it, as you can see, it can oscillate around the psychological price level. This is for the USD card. End of uh, okay for the USD card. We move on to the next candidate. Okay, we are looking for the Euro USD. Talking about the Euro zone, the unemployment uh, in uh, Spain is now okay, almost 25 percent. But when we are talking about uh, a youth, okay, youth unemployment is in the zone of 50 percent. Okay, now when you see always, you see United States very recently, okay, because of the recession, the unemployment was going up. Okay. Now, if you see in a country, for instance, that the unemployment is going up, and the politicians are denying that everything is perfectly okay, we do not need the bailout, or the blah, 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 just take it from me that it's completely nonsense, okay? Why, okay, the employers are, are, are lead, 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 sending people away? Why the employ, employers are, are sucking people? Why they are getting rid of their staff? Because they know that, okay, the future outlook is not very bright, so they start getting rid of people. And the politician will do their job. They say that everything is perfectly okay. We do not need a bailout. Everything is working okay. We can control the deficit, blah, blah, blah. Youth unemployment, see, almost in a 50% zone. General unemployment is then 20%. In Italy, unemployment is increasing. In France, 10%. And also in Germany, recently we see a bit of increase, maybe uh, uh, a bit of uh, rise, okay, in the unemployment. Why? Because the periphery people, uh, the periphery countries, okay, where unemployment is going up, the peop uh, people will move into countries like uh, 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 Germany to look for a better job prospect, okay, they will look for job in uh, Germany, a country where they think that they have a better, okay, opportunity, that's what's happening, so I explained to you in the previous part of the video, this was happening for the Eurozone. A lot of politics, a lot of blah, blah, blah. I believe that we should leave the economy to the, okay, the best economies to run it instead of uh, in involving politics with economy. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. That's why we see too much distortion. And one generation, the price, we pay the price of the, the previous generation is too messy. 
until somebody somewhere will say stop the nonsense, leave the economy alone to the economists that will make a better decision for the future of each country. When you miss politics and economists, it doesn't work. It's all to do with election, re-election, and blah, blah, blah. Politicians should defend their interests, but for the best interest of all country, in my view, my view is not sound, I believe that, okay, should be leave alone to, okay, independent, okay, council that will decide, okay, the best interest of the country so that, okay, the electoral does not punish, okay, a prime minister or a president for, okay, the economics uh, decisions, all right, blah, blah, blah. So this is it, okay, for the Euro USD, the psychological price level is the 13200, below the 13200, priority to sell signal above the 13200, priority to bullish signal. Does not mean buy any how above or sell any how below, but if at the only edge, use your trading tool like a, a professional uh, a traders. Okay, so also we know that uh, okay, now we see that uh, more uh, unemployment okay in a, in a periphery country going to Germany affecting the job okay prospect for the German. Okay, we will watch carefully okay the social mood in Germany. Okay, very carefully. Okay, very carefully. Okay. So, uh, also this weekend, on the 6th of May, election in France, okay, Mr. Sarkozy and uh, François Hollande, uh, the odds are in favor of Mr. Hollande, but we will see what's going to happen. If Mr. Sarkozy, okay, is gone, all right, that will put the euro under pressure, okay, because uh, Mr. Hollande is asking for a renegotiation of, uh, okay, all the fiscal pact. Talking about fiscal pact, Mr. Hollande is talking about growth pact, okay, so is blah 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 so this weekend the <laughs> forest is going to be very busy if there is a change of uh, president in france so watch it carefully pay attention to the news download the yahoo finance download google finance download uh, all the okay uh, financial times uh, okay on your uh, smartphone pay attention to the news do not use the technical alone pay attention to the okay fundamentals okay and the news this is for the euro uh, usd our view we are bearish toward the euro usd but if it's above 13200 we give priority to buy and we'll see what's going to happen but in my view the price should return to the zone of a one uh one two zero 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 okay twelve thousand so we're here and we can rebuild okay the euro on a stronger foundation but politics is involved in this uh, uh, currency pair sometimes you may decide to stay away from the euro if you see that too much politics is involved in the market it doesn't work together okay too much distortion all right this is about the euro usd we are bearish but cautiously bearish okay so trade the price uh, attention on the price alone okay the number one indicator you can refer to okay the previous uh, uh, video okay so we talk about the usd card we talk about the euro usd now we're going to bring the next candidate the new zealand dollar the us dollar okay talking about the new zealand dollar Okay, US dollar is similar situation for like uh, uh, the Australian, uh, like uh, the Australian dollar. Okay, uh, US dollar, the same scenario. Okay, China was booming. Okay, and the business business was going to okay New Zealand also. They were benefiting uh, hugely. Okay, from the Chinese economy. Now that the Chinese economy, we are expecting it to slow down. Some people may tell you that it will never slow down. It will go up forever. It's not true. That is saying it's not true. Talking about cycle and talking about the global economy is not true. China will experience a kind of okay, a drop down or contraction in the economy. That's the truth. Okay, that's the truth. Don't be fooled by the blah blah blah. Okay, China by all means, like I said to you before, the euro will experience a kind of contraction. Canada will experience a kind of contraction before we come to the whole end of uh, okay. Uh, the, the the bearish cycle which has started from Japan, United States, uh, Great Britain, now in Europe, it will go to okay China and will have a negative effect in New Zealand, especially New Zealand and Australia. Okay, so the same thing I've said to you before, talking about Chinese economy and the Australian economy and the New Zealand economy, the same thing we are seeing. We are again out of the the bullish uh, the channel on the monthly chart for the okay. The New Zealand dollar, US dollar, priority to sell signal for the New Zealand dollar, US dollar a currency pair. We do not sell anyhow. We will trade on the edge, pay attention to the price itself. If it's going up, we will buy it, okay, on the edge, okay, but long term view, bearish, long term view, bearish, 
talking about the fundamental and the repercussion of uh, Chinese economy on the okay uh, New Zealand economy. I will not go deeply into this. I leave it to traders, okay, to practice and change, use different time frame daily chart of four hour chart and switch it down. Use that trading tool to make excellent a uh, trading decision. Okay, our view is not our aim is not to uh, create a dependency, but to create okay freedom so traders can understand what they need to do and know how to do it themselves instead of us doing it for them. Okay, okay. So this is about uh, the New Zealand dollar. Okay, a US dollar or currency pair. So we have talked about the Australian dollar US dollar currency pair, the New Zealand dollar US dollar currency pair, the Euro USD and the USD card currency pair. Before I close this video, I want to tell you, last weekend we posted a video on our channel on YouTube where we were talking about uh, the RSI and the India wave, uh, okay, a theory. At the end of the video, if you manage to watch it till the end, <laughs> all right, you will notice that I've said that I will post another page at www.stokastimali.com and the name of the page is Today Page, right here, Today Page, click on it, and you will watch okay there are there are, there are three videos here if you click here you start playing you play the first one the second one the third one straight away or you may select them the first one is called technical traders it's about crude oil the second one is about usdn and the third one is about the dow Jones. you may come here and watch it because last weekend the video was too long i decided to cut it and post this uh, okay a video on our uh, website okay so this is the end of this video okay i hope okay you have enjoyed about the forex one for one for and the market that you will put into use okay in order or to cream the market consistently uh, thank you for watching okay and uh, we will speak to you uh, very soon we are the tstw uh, 24 uh, traders